The title of my presentation is Copa Space Study of Derivational Morphology and Its Theoretical Implications. Section 1, Introduction. The system of derivational morphology contributes greatly to children's acquisition of a vocabulary by enabling them to generate an infinite number of nominal, verbal, and adjectival complex words. The primary task of generative morphology is then to review the regularities of word formation processes and provide a principled account to them. As part of this enterprise, the present study attempts to show how the system works in producing above final words in English, exemplified in a skilled and constantly reskillable workplace, workforce. The adjective has a modalized passive sense of can be re-skilled, and it is a affix. Token frequency, frequency one of a large corpus, and hence it is constructed online without being stored in the lexicon. The aim of the present work is to demonstrate that new ABO adjectives are created constantly and systematically, and to verify this by inspecting ABO words, especially the hypaxis detected in large scale corpus. This article is organized as follows. After outlining some points of previous studies in section two, we inspect them on the basis of our data analysis and present the critical Many treatments of the suffix in the genitive literature, JP 1969, and so on. A review of the literature identifies four attributes that merit special attention. And one, the formation of the verbal, especially transitive based above words, is very productive. Two, Abo attaches only to transitive words, ergative words, and nouns. Three, Abo autotypically makes an adjective with a mixture of passive and potential senses. Second point is that abo can affix to transitives, patable host, agatives, vulnerable host, and nouns, knowledgeable stuff, and not narratives, vulnerable or men, wrong, or and accusatives, arrivable or wrong. The false attribute is demonstrated by those people are vulnerable. Asian. C. Those people are vulnerable. O. Observation and
As for ascertaining the total number of types of other words, we make a list of those which are included in Lana 1971 and the history in the As a result of the research, we have been 6562 word types. Now, there have been several approaches to quantifying activity. But the most reliable is the one which gives great importance to Hapax Legomena, a nice day of this. This is based on the view that complex forms that have been observed only once in large corpus are highly likely. The next four relations and hence the capacity for all. The one formation to create new forms usually involves the degree to which the new producers was with extremely low frequency. Bayern and the group propose a productivity measure. Productivity to a verb, two, one which adjoins to a noun, and three, one which adjoins to a new word. Uh, verb attaching abo is further divided into three subclasses. The result of the research can be provided in tabular form. Uh, table one shows the verbal abu affixation, P equal 0 0.336, is much more productive than the nominal abu affixation, P equal as 0 0.154, and stand based abu affixation, P equal 0 0.161. Uh, there is a set of abu words which are based on narrative verbs of intransitive use in practical words. Their productivity value will be very high in the present measure, P equal 0 0.700. It should be noted that the total number of types of these other words is very low, and long times. In this connection, Bayern and Lieber suggest the global productivity, P asterisk. A P asterisk of an affixation rule is defined in terms of these coordinates in the P B interaction region with productivity P on the horizontal axis and the types V on the vertical axis. A productive affix occupies a central position in the region. By this definition, a case where the number of word types is very low, like the one in question, falls outside the domain for productive process. It can thus be concluded that our fruit free joins to transitive verbs, but not to intransitive verbs, 
nouns or non word stems. Uh, let's go on to slide five. As we point to uh, syntactic categories of abo basins. This section inspects the second point of the previous studies. Uh, abo attaches only to transitive verbs, ergative verbs, and nouns. The 662 abo word types of chain are classified in terms of the syntactic categories of their basis. Transitives, ergatives, and negatives, and accusatives, nouns, and stems. Uh, each type of verbs is defined on the slide. The result of the inquiry indicates the pros and cons of the prey made by this year. Greater than 9% uh, hypothesis in ABO are based on transitives, ergatives, or nouns, supporting the generalization that the basis of ABO are transitives, ergatives, or nouns. On the other hand, the results disclose that ABO can be added to anagatives and anaccusatives in a certain limited way. This is well exemplified in fishable, swimmable water and hazardic is rustable, respectively. Let's go on to slide six. Section 3.3. The meaning of ABO derivatives. Let us now consider the claim made advanced by Jesperson and Chaitin. The verbal adjectives in ABO primarily have modernized passive senses. Examine the total of 260 verbal and denominal ABO hypotheses extracted from BMC. The reason for targeting ABO hypotheses is that we Focus on observation of what meaning is assigned to a derivative when it is instantly created, and that, and that a hypothesis in a large corpus is a significant indicator of this. The result of research offered in Table 3, where the meanings of ABO words are divided into four sub meanings and their base categories are divided into six classes. <coughs> The notable findings of the research lead to three empirical generalizations. Uh, to begin with, the agreement with Jesperson and Chaitin, the primary meaning of Abu Walls is a mixture of passive and potential senses. Greater than 80% of new words in Abu have this sense. For example, a uh, Let's go on to slide seven. The sub meanings uh, 2 to 4 of A ABO are judged to be non central ones. And there is a clear correlation between these meanings and the classes of its base, its base. The first one is that ABO feature joins to an intransitive verb to coin a new word exhibits a strong tendency to bear the meaning apt to V. For example, smellable. Greater than 80% of intransitive based half of hypotheses have this reading. The second correlation is that now incorporating new ABO adjectives have only the sense suitable for, for example, filmable. Section 3.4 Restriction on external agreement. Uh, this section examines the restriction on external argument pointed out by Williams. An ABO adjectival can be predicted, uh, predicated only of uh, theme frames. A denominal and stem based ABO words are excluded from our analysis since non derived nouns and stems are relevant to arguments. 
in total, 595 types of arbor derivatives are obtained and they are classified in terms of the thematic rules of their external arguments. Table 4 indicates the ratio of arbor walls involving each thematic row which the external argument assumes. Let's go on to slide 8. Uh, the condition under scrutiny is almost confirmed by this research. We can see that 99% of the ABO hypotheses and about 98% of the ABO types it seen as their external arguments. It is worth noting, however, that there exist cases which are inconsistent with this condition. The external argument is satisfied by a non-theme phase. For example, in the terms at Abingdon was very feasible. The location argument, the terms of the underlying phase curve fish, occupies the external position of ABO construction. Similarly, the source argument trusted both in the following example takes place in the external position of ABO construction, the development high molecular density the ethylene has made plastic bones much more acceptable. Uh, let's go on to slide 9. 6.4. Theoretical implications. We have shown that 1. ABO is productively added to transfer valves to yield modernized adjectival passive walls. And the external arguments are generally assigned the free interpretation and two, ABO is rather peripherally involved in other kinds of bases and other sorts of external arguments and produces adjectival active words. The former process constitutes the core domain of ABO affixation and the latter is called peripheral ABO affixation, lying just outside the core. Let us discuss core ABO affixation first. The relevant information on the ABO world formation can be formalized into the core lexical entries of ABO as demonstrated in one. Uh, I'm afraid that I don't have enough time to explain the rule, and so let's go to section 4.2. Let's go to slide 10. Uh, as argued above, there are certain types of irregularities in ABO affixation that can be characterized as follows. One, ABO can typically be added to a relative, a negative, and an accusative in terms of both as well as nouns. Two, ABO derivatives can occasionally have non-passive and non-potential senses. And three, a non-theme phrase can exceptionally occupy the external position of ABO as a box. These kinds of information can be built into non-central or peripheral lexical representation of ABO as demonstrated in three. Related to are called minor ABO word formation rules. Which, occupy, uh, which act, apply only to exceptional cases. Uh, section 5, conclusion. On the basis of close analysis of the ABO coinages discerned in a large corpus, we have disclosed a number of formal and semantic properties of ABO derivation. We have then proposed that these properties are formalized into two kinds of formation rules from the perspective of general morphology. One is central, basic, and, and productive, while the other is peripheral, derivative, and unproductive. Here's references. Thank you.